here we are, RX5 time, uh, Mazda build, it's here, hashtag Barker as we will call it, shall we say. Well, we've been on with refurbishing the front uprights. These have gone in, cut the ABS sensors off. Uh, bearings, this comes as one complete hub bearing uh, with the studs in and everything else. It's worth doing, guys, refurbishing it. It fits, feels gaunchy anyway. It's just much easier to do it now rather than afterwards once you've built your car and then you find out it's not working. So all the front ends in, steering rack, suspension, rockers, steering columns in with a collapsible column. Collapsible column here, it's got a spline shaft. It's worth it, it's needed for IVA. You also need a collapsible boss on the steering wheel up here. So two forms of it as well. Um, it's just a safety thing. You can put them on race cars as well. It's not a problem, it doesn't have to be just road cars. Yeah, and moving along into the back here, the panels have been cut, they've been taken off. They'll be do final fit because they've been trimmed. Onto the rear, rear upright. So all of that's been refurbished, painted up, etc. Rear caliper's done. Taking out the pads because Calipers, these were the pads that are in there. You're not going to be putting those in. We go to Mintex here, double one, double four compound pads. Nice for much better, softer braking, better on a handbrake efficiency for the IVA test because you need 18% of the value of the vehicle weight and everything else. Braking performance for the handbrake, they work really well with the lever that's on there. So yeah, this is another little project cracking along and another little springtime one ready to get ready. So the rear end's pretty much together now. All the handbrakes in, the cables are in, the rear hubs, the discs, fuel tank, fuel lines, handbrake cables, suspension all done, handbrake lever, prop shaft. Biggest uh, thing that's different now, obviously the engine's gone in. So we've done a little bit of prep work on the engine, check that, it's got a new clutch in there and etc. as well. So that that's all ready to go. Yeah, the rocker cover needs sorting out and that, but we'll do that last because we're going to be doing some tinkering that under here. So it'll be one of the last jobs we do. And now we're on with steering column, hooking up the brake lines, um, all of that that goes through to the pedal box, hooking up the clutch lines, radiator, and then we'll be on with, this is just running the uh, smaller aluminium ones, just a little road car. This is going to be, it's not going to be anything more than a super duper, you know, clean, tidy road car that they'll be able to drive from A and B up in, the, up in Yorkshire. Um, so yeah, front brakes are on. Uh, we've sort of gone through the calipers, new discs on here. Uh, it's not really worth salvaging the old ones, to be honest with you. So, the, but there's nothing wrong with the calipers, they've gone in now, so they're on. And then the Brady lines again, they've gone in. And then we do a final adjustment on those um, once they're in place, because you've got to make sure when this goes lock to lock, so the steering turns, this way to this way, that this braided hose doesn't interfere with anything else mechanical on the vehicle. So it's something you just need to be aware of. Um, another little YVA, top tip for you, yeah. So engine's in, that's the biggest thing. And uh, yeah, the guys are then crack on where they've started moving the housing round. This is one thing you have to do. That's normally facing that way, we move it this way. So to connect up with the radiator, a few other bits, coolant lines going in down on here. And uh, we're just missing a couple of components from the donor vehicle, which is for the heater matrix pipe, a few other bits. But yeah, I guess really all the bodywork has pretty much been dry fitted now, trimmed and everything else. Cameron's been on with that during the course this week, getting it all dry fitted and then move along into the car. And then the final fitment of the electrics will go in. Adrian's working on that. We'll start the car. Once we start the car, they will then bond all the panels on and everything else afterwards. So yeah, it's progress, but it's hard to say because obviously it takes a little bit of time to trim all these up, but these all been rear tub, side panels down here, ready to go. Doesn't look like we haven't changed much in that, but if I stick them two side panels on, rear tub and the scuttle and the bonnet and all of that, which is what it's done, half an hour later, it's, it looks like a transformed car. So as you know, we were on with this wiring, this spaghetti junction that's been laid out on the floor and we've been going through it all and the guys have been setting about it. Uh, we want to prove the concept first because we're cutting and splicing the stock Mazda loom uh, into here. But yes, we've got crank over now, so that's good. And then we'll set about um, doing the final bits in to then get it started. And then we'll start laying it in and position it. While it's there, the guys have had the rocker cover off, um, giving that a little bit of a detail as well. Cleaned, prepped and painted clean black. Just keep it black. It's a yellow car, black and yellow, always good. Bumblebee, always looks fantastic. So unfortunately, it's gonna be a few days of wiring because there's quite a lot to do here to, uh, to sort it out. And it is all in the manual, uh, them, the guys that are building them. And if you've got any queries on that, or if you've, there's something not quite right, or you're not sure, etc., cetera, then um, fire us an email just generally, rather than on the phone, I suppose, because it's quicker and easier to resolve. But there's lots of things, but the, the Mazda Loom is good. It's just very long, because it's sitting in a bigger car, and it runs front to back when everything else sits. The battery's normally 
here on the Mazda, and we move it right up the front here, so we have to change and shorten of quite a few leads. So, but yeah, the guys are cracking on, and uh, good thing is, she cranks over. Right, so, what is, so it's all hooked up now, isn't it? Yeah, it's now hooked up to the engine, the ECU, uh, it goes to the clock, so we've got readings, um, and with a bit of luck, obviously, before we start modifying the loom, we want to make sure that, you know, the engine runs, prove a concept. Um, so yeah, hopefully when I turn the key, we get, we get spark, we get fuel, we get cranking, and then it fires up. Happy with that, it sounds healthy, we know it works. Now we can crack on with modifying the loom. Right, so on here, uh, hashtag Barker's car. Well, we've been on with the wiring loom. We proved the concept um, that the vehicle starts. And now the boys are upstairs, in fact, camera's upstairs. Basically you laid it out on a big board, all the loom, and we start dressing the loom up and tidying it up so we can get back in the vehicle. So we know it all starts, all, everything's working fine. That's good news. We tie the loom up and then we'll lay it back in the vehicle and do the final fit and finish on it. It's a bit of a back way to do it, but it's always best to prove the concept before you start cutting wires out on the loom. Again, the manual does help you with that, but it's just best to prove the concept. So that's the Barker car. That's uh, rolling along and that will go. It'll, it'll look like this for a little bit of a time because it's three or four days on wiring, tidying up and cutting wires and shortening and lengthening, etc. Uh, on the back of that. But yeah, that's progress. Boom, boom noises is always good. Uh, what we've been on with? Well, a few little bits now. We know we dry fitted all the body panels. Well, this one's side panels are now being fully bonded and secured in position. Hole's been cut in there for the exhaust manifold. You can see that's coming through. We've done with the rear arches. Um, these have been bonded on and fixed on. Nice little bit of P trim in here. Don't have to have it on the new one. On the classic bodywork, we have the P trim on the new stuff on the SX bodywork. It's not required. Rear tub has gone on. Uh, and as well and we fitted the boot cover and the roll cage has gone on for the final fit and fix time so these are done with poppers and there is a video online on how to do them actually uh, quite an easy fit it's nice and easy <coughs> pop there you go there it gives you good access very lightweight waterproof etc rear lights have gone on as well uh, they've been put in and next job is reverse light oh careful Reverse light even, flying centre lights and fog light, that's to go on, and a fuel cap. So they are the next jobs that will be done on the back end here that will tidy all the back end up. And these are going to look quite nice actually. It's got the black fuel cap, that'll look really nice with the black and yellow actually. I do like that colour combination. It was uh, been very, very popular over the years, the black and yellow. So that's gone on, looking clean and tidy. They've been continuing with the wiring as well, tidying that up. Dashboard's all been bonded in now with the clocks. We've just got to fix that in position. And polish, whoosh, tidy up, clean up, start fitting the rest of the body panels, etc. as well. Head has so. been now all dry fitted and trial fitted in here. Uh, that's the fiberglass version we do. Um, we do two different versions, we do this version which is a fibreglass and we do an alley one which you saw on the K20 there. Scuttle's gone on, that's been mocked up in place, the dashboard with the Mazda clocks has all been now mocked up, just got to do the final fit on that one as well. Um, it's just some drilling some holes, marked it all out, screw that in, that'll be ready to rock and roll. You saw last week we've been on with all the rear ends done, brake lights, fog lights, indicators, fuel killer cap, all IVA spec, boot covers on, number plate light, roll bar fitted in, that's the last stage job. Oh, and the alley trim is in, in stage now. Um, this was earlier car that we built, so this had the alley trim. Um, you can upgrade, we have the norm, normal side seal protectors, which are, in my opinion, a bit nicer than doing the alley trim, but alley trim's on this particular one. So yeah, this car is rolling along, it's almost looking like a completed car now. So interior panels will be the next stage, boxing all this in, Filling all that in, uh, with the interior panel kit that comes in there being powder coat black. All the seats have been trial fitted in here as well, so they'll go in pretty quick. Seat belts and then the cowling cover for the uh, indicator stalks and all of that. And that actually all runs already, so it's f final fitting the wiring. So this ain't going to be far away in the next couple of weeks getting in to IVA as well, like the K20 did. So, and we expect no different. These should sail through. They're pretty cool actually to go through. Uh, going to be doing a couple of bits in here. We've got the header tank on. Brake fluid reservoir put on, bulkhead panels in, battery and battery mounts in now. Um, the front end's pretty much buttoned up now, all day to IVA spec with the indicator extensions, headlights, grills, all that's gone in, it's all been bonded in now. The 
the mesh, etc. as well. When you're moving into the interior, the guys have done the seats. They've gone in now, the seat runners, the harnesses, and the padded centre tunnel top, which looks, well, it's A, it's much more cosy, and B, just looks much more refined in there. Steering wheel's gone on, and the big shiny thing, which is the exhaust, that's also been fitting in there. And we decided on this one, we're gonna make a new laser cut thing for the hole to this, to clean the hole up. So anybody with RX5 that are going in, we're gonna make a nice little surround for this one. So we're just doing some templates. While we've got this car in sample form, we're gonna make a nice little uh, black surround there as well. So yeah, it's cracking on, even got a wheel on it. That's <laughs> one wheel, there is four to go on, of course, but one wheel on now, we'll just finish up final mock up on it as well. Again, this shouldn't be far away now from, uh, she all starts, runs and goes, but once we get the header tank done in, we'll be able to, uh, get the coolant system all bled up as well. So we've gone with the early one. Yes, it's on the ground, out of the bay, which is behind there, on the ground. What's the reason? Well, it's getting its final uh, stretch down to the IVA process. So what we've been on with this week, a few little touches as well, and other bits as well, but under the bonnet here, guys have been doing all the old coolant system on it. The guys have been plumbing it up, getting that done so we could run it up to temperatures and give it a road test. We fit the new bonnet catches on here, which is the lockable ones, the metal ones. They're really good, they click really safe. For IVA, you do need a little rubber cover that goes over those, those guys if you're fitting them for pre-IVA stuff, after IVA, doesn't matter. Then, trimming up, really, all the body panels have been trimmed off, final fit and finish down here, and then things like this in for the IVA trims, all the rubbers and the grits and grommets and things that you need to do, covering up all the sharp edges, anything that's more than 2.5 mil radius, needs a cover on it within that sphere distance. So yeah, these have got uh, the master standard canopies on there, but we've cross drilled and rented this, one of the little jobs you need to do, bleed them up. So the guys have been cracking on as well, pumping the brakes, Anna Manasia done a great job. She starts, stops and goes as she should. So yeah, the final jobs are being done, you know, uh, horn being fitted, uh, that's being done and wired up. The final job in the horn is on the center and the hooter in here on the steering wheel. All the IVA lights have been done on the rear, all the new little witches hats as we call them. They're all gone on. They're for your uh, sharp edges, for your uh, harnesses, etc. So you cut them up with trim. Those are available on the website. Nice little product. You can leave them on afterwards actually. Neat and tidy and it stops them rattling, which is quite nice actually. Sometimes you get that little rail, does bug you. Centre padded tunnel in, that's really nice with your phone and key holder down in here. Standard master clock, standard 1.8 engine. Um, pretty much ready to go now. It's had a little road test. Happy with how it drives, stops, stops and goes. We give it a couple of more miles uh, just to make sure everything's bedded in, ready for its IVA. And I do believe this one might be going up for sale. The customer might be sending it straight away. So if you want to get into an RX5, and it's one that's already been built and ready to go for spring because it's coming up after it's registered and IVA'd, you could be first in the queue. So right, guys, it's RX5 time. Well, if you've been subscribed and following, you would have seen this build happen from bare chassis up to what she is today. Um, what's the difference today? Well, we've been on with IVA, as you know, getting her ready. She's due to go in a couple of weeks time. A um, couple of last jobs to do was the wing mirrors, fitting those, and of course, standard stripe kit. The black, now she looks much, much nicer. Now the black and yellow stripe, awesome. Uh, that ticks the box on this If one. you've been subscribed and following us over the last few months where we've been building this little bad boy, you would have seen it's gone through its IVA process. That's number one, we built the car, got it through the IVA process, pretty simple with the RX5 kits, full build manual available on these, and you can build them at home, in your own garage, in your own time, exactly to this spec. This spec is a standard car, as you get in like our deluxe kit, shall we say, which is at 9995. Everything you see here, the only options that's been on this was the aero screen and uh, cross drill and groove invented, uh, sorry, invented discs. That is it. Everything else is completely as it comes in the kit. So you get your donor vehicle and plus the kit and you build a car that looks as good as this. Now, we've done those little touches, the little carbon aero screen, Custom wanted that as a little creature comfort. It's got a nice panel tunnel top, standard gauges on it, standard wheels even as they came off the donor vehicle. Now this car, maybe the last time you probably see it in the workshop, because um, it's gonna head off now to its new owner. But before that, Andy did a little test drive on the car to show you how great these cars drive. Got the rollover bar behind me, all the bodywork, all the chassis, all the running gear, the lovely MK pedal box everything you need it's ten thousand pounds so on this build you still got the master standard brakes which 
with the power this car has is bloody perfect. You get the stainless steel silencer with the build, which gives you um, <laughs> a lovely little engine note. The best part about this, you can build this at home. All you need is a space and basic hand tools. There's no fabrication needed. It's just nuts and bolts thrown together. You can get your nan to build this. It's essentially a big boy's Lego kit. And I think that's the most appealing part of it for me. This is a car you can build yourself in your garage with your hands. And it handles as well as this does. And it goes just like this. <laughs> 